In this video, I want to demonstrate how to get your images to display, display correctly, I should say, in TikiTaki. Um, this is a common issue, but it's uh, fairly straightforward to address. So I think part of the hangup is that we can't just upload images to TikiTaki, but instead you have to link to them. So you have to find images that are available online. Um, it's always best um, to find images via something like a Google image search, a Bing image search, uh, whatever it might be. Um, we should look for images that are uh, licensed for reuse um, or that are open source uh, licensed um, or even Creative, Creative Commons, one of those. The reality is that um, this timeline does not exist beyond the semester of our class. Um, Nobody can really access it without having the URL. So if you just get images from a Google image search, even though it's not really best practice for actually publishing those images, we're not publishing those images. We're just sharing them with each other. Um, and so it's it's OK um, for uh, the copyright purposes and such. So um, that said, you'll notice that a couple of these, you can see the thumbnail image that uh, these folks have shared in their personal introduction. And then a lot of these just have a blank white square. Now, the first one's a little bit hard because um, if you want to add a personal photograph, you have to have it somewhere where it's openly accessible online so that you can get a link to it to have it display here. So that's what I was saying in the instructions in unit one for this assignment. Um, this is the reason that I posted my images on Twitter. Um, because I could then link directly to them on Twitter and have them display here. And then I also said, I understand if you don't want to do that. So uh, in that case, you can just find an image that represents something you're interested in, something you really like doing, um, whatever it might be. Um, but even then, there is one more trick that I want to show you to this. So we're going to look at Marisol's entry here uh, because she's chosen an image that just relates to Disney. Um, so it is one that's openly available online. Um, and so I'm going to go to her entry here in the admin section so that I can edit it. Um, so I noticed she has a URL here. I've opened it in another window. And I can tell by the way this returns, this is actually the URL for the Google image search, not the URL for the image itself, if that makes sense. So another way of looking at that is when you search for images, you have the search of all the ones that, that uh, came up when you put in whatever terms you used. Um, then you select the one you want to use. You can't just highlight and copy the URL up here in the browser bar. Instead, you have to put your cursor directly on the image itself. You have to right click or control click on a Mac. And then you scroll down to copy image address. Um, I'm using Google Chrome on a MacBook. Um, so it says copy image address. If you're using a different browser or a PC with a different browser, the wording might be slightly different. But what you're looking for is whatever, whatever the one is that allows you to copy the address or the URL for the image itself. So I'm going to copy image address. I'm going to open the other tab to our timeline. And I'm going to paste that image in over here and click Save. Now you'll notice here is her image, and it shows up here. So if you could just take a minute to fix that, or if you were trying to share an Instagram image or a Facebook image, those just don't share um, on TikTok. And it's OK to just let this one go, chalk it up to learning experience, uh, but then make sure that you're ready for unit two to find an image that goes along with the topic you choose and that you understand how to put it in here so that it will display. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Please let me know what questions you have, and I look forward to continuing to build the timeline with you all.